Hey friends, how are you? This is lesson number four of Arabic speaking course, the first level. I'm your instructor Mustafa Nasser and you are watching Arabic for Nuns. Today's topic is very easy and interesting. We will learn how to ask simple yes or no questions in Arabic. I'm going to make use of the vocabularies and phrases I used so far in this course, especially the pointing nouns. Please support me and subscribe my channel, activate the bell and like the video. You're also welcome to join our Facebook group. We are having a weekly online session on Zoom meeting application to practice speaking together. So make sure to join us. You will always see the link in the video description. In English, whenever we want to ask, a simple yes or no question, we must use one of these verbs. Verb to be, verb to do, verb to have, or a modal verb, which might change from one sentence to another based on the construction and the tense used. For instance, we used verb to be, which is am, is, are in present, and was, where in past tense, in order to ask about entities or adjectives, like are you a student? Is he a doctor? Was he sick yesterday? So here we are asking about nouns or adjectives. On the other hand, if we want to ask about facts, actions, or even verbs, we use verb to do. Do does in present, did in the past. Does he play football? Did you finish your homework? And so on. We can also use verb to have like have you taken your lunch or a modal verb like could you please give me your book and many more. So it sounds like too many and too confusing. But here is a good news. In Arabic, we replace all these verbs used to ask yes or no question in English with one single preposition. Are you serious? Yes. This preposition. Hell. Hell, only two letters proposition. This is an interrogative proposition which is used to ask about the content of the sentence. This content might be a noun, an adjective, a, a description, a verb, or anything else. So practically, it replaces all these verbs. Let me translate some of the examples I just gave you. Are you a student? Is she a doctor? Were you a doctor? Can you help me? And have you taken your breakfast or your lunch? Let's start with the first one. Are you a student? You in Arabic, ente. Student, talib. And then we will add the proposition we talked about. Hel, ente, talib. That's it. So here, hel replaces are in the English question. Let's move to the second example. Is she a doctor? She, he, doctor, tabibe, because we are talking about a singular feminine. And then we will add hell. Hell, he, tabibe. The next one, were you a doctor? So again, we will put hell and then we will use the verb kana. Hell, kunta. Then Doctor, Tabi Ben Hel Kunta Tabi Ben, were you a doctor? The following one, can you help me? Hel Testatia Musa Adati, Hel Testatia Musa Adati, can you help me? And the last one, have you taken your lunch? Hel Achazte Rodeek, Hel Achazte Rodeek. As you can see, all Arabic questions start with hell, and this hell replaces all these verbs I used, are, is, where, can, and have. So simply put this proposition hell in front of any sentence and you will get yes or no question. Of course, sometimes you will have to do some adjustment in conjugation or pronouns, but the order of the sentence remains the same. Now, I want to combine asking yes or no question with the pointing noun. Let's see these examples and read them together. 
You remember these examples I gave you during the second lesson of this course. هذا ولد. This is a boy. هذه بنت. This is a girl. هذان ولدان. These are two boys. هاتان بنتان. These are two girls. هؤلاء أولاد. These are boys. And هؤلاء بنات. These are girls. Now I want to ask yes or no question on these sentences. I will just add the interrogative proposition we talked about. هل in front of the sentence and then I will add also a question mark at the end. And that's it. So they become هل هذا ولد is this a boy? هل هذه بنت is this a girl? هل هذان ولدان are these two boys? هل هاتان بنتان are these two girls? هل هؤلاء أولاد are these boys? هل هؤلاء بنات are these girls? It's simple, right? Let's now see how to answer these questions. In this lesson, I will cover how to answer with affirmation, and in the next lesson, I will explain the negation. So, we need to confirm these sentences by using yes. Yes in Arabic means na'am. Na'am. So, I will add na'am first, a comma, and then the sentence as it is, like this. هل هذا ولد؟ نعم هذا ولد هل هذه بنت نعم هذه بنت هل هذان ولدان نعم هذان ولدان هل هاتان بنتان نعم هاتان بنتان هل هؤلاء اولاد نعم هؤلاء اولاد هل هؤلاء بنات نعم هؤلاء بنات we never exchange like in English. Is this a boy? We need to exchange the verb with the adjective like this. Yes, this is a boy. To get the correct order of the sentence. But we don't do that in Arabic. The sentence stays the same in both constructions. So, the only change here is that I will replace the preposition hell with the word na'am. Okay, is there any other word that we can use to answer with affirmation apart from na'am or yes? Yes, we can say, of course, which is in Arabic, طبعاً, طبعاً. Or another word which also means, of course, or naturally, which is بالطبع. بالطبع. It has two parts. ب this is a preposition, be, only one letter. It means with or by. And the noun, الطبع. الطبع means nature. So literally it means by nature. Or naturally, بالطبع. So we have طبعا, of course. بالطبع means of course also. Or it means naturally. And then we have بالتأكيد. It has the same construction as بالطبع. This preposition ب means with and التأكيد means certainty. So it means by certainty or with certainty, which equals to certainly in English. Certainly بالتأكيد. So we have طبعا of course بالطبع of course or naturally and بالتأكيد means certainly. So if someone is asking you, can you help me? هل تستطيع مساعدتي? I will just answer certainly, which is بالتأكيد or بالطبع. Okay? So far, so good. Do you know that there is a simpler way to ask yes or no questions in Arabic using a simpler preposition? We replace this Preposition هل with one letter preposition a a and it will still give you the same exact meaning like this example 
Is this a boy? We translated that in Arabic to be هل هذا ولد Now remove هل and put a a هذا ولد a هذا ولد So a هذا ولد means is this a boy which also means هل هذا ولد Let's now look at the examples we explained previously هل هذا ولد or أهذا ولد is this a boy هل هذه بنت أهذه بنت is this a girl هل هذان ولدان أهذان ولدان are these two boys هل هاتان بنتان أهاتان بنتان Are these two girls هل هؤلاء أولاد أهؤلاء أولاد Are these boys هل هؤلاء بنات أهؤلاء بنات Are these girls So in summary, in order to ask a simple yes or no question in Arabic, we use one of these two preposition, هل or a. We don't need to use a verb or an auxiliary verb like in English. We only add one of these two preposition in front of the sentence. And we don't have also to worry about the order or exchanging the verb and the subject. The only adjustment that might take place will be in conjugation of the verb and the connected pronouns. But the order of the words in the sentence remains the same. In the next lesson, we will dive deeper and learn about the negation tools. And we will learn also how to answer these types of questions with no. As always, don't forget to download the PDF file of this lesson from the link in the video description. You can download it for free by giving only your email. See you in the next lesson.